Hey guys, thanks for clicking on the video. Today, I'm gonna to be removing this Color Command Pro 15 from this GS45 John Deere Walk Behind. You might be asking, why are you removing the engine from the walk behind? Well, this is the incorrect engine for this mower. Uh, this mower originally came with a Kawasaki FC420V. And uh, on the video, I did last week, you saw me pulling it from another John Deere. That's gonna be going on this one. Uh, this engine spins around 5,000 RPMs. You can't control it. Um, throttle up, throttle down, getting the governor rod, moving it back and forth. There's no control on this engine. So we're gonna take it off. Uh, I'm gonna drain the oil and uh, we're gonna use our detective skills and see if we can't figure out why I can't control the engine. And uh, we'll go ahead and fix it. And uh, we'll use this engine for another project uh, that I have around the house. Maybe throw it on another walk behind or something that it's actually supposed to be on. Anyway, I hope you like this video. If you do, give me a thumbs up. Uh, if you like what I do and everything, just go ahead and subscribe. I'm gonna try to put out a video every week. It didn't work out this last week, uh, switching software. But anyway, hope you like the video.
we go. Yep. Well, just as I suspected, that little pin fell out. Good news is though, everything else looks good. So I'll loosen up the uh, governor arm, spin it around. All right, when you put this piece on, very important that this stays lined up. It'll kind of lock in place. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this governor right now so you can visually see that it's in the correct spot. I'm gonna go full throttle, governor arm all the way down into the max position. And then we're gonna just tighten this right on down. Gonna take some uh, rubbing alcohol and get all the excess oil off of this seal surface. Okay, next thing we want to do is we're just gonna loosen these. We're gonna go ahead and pop this old seal out. So we're just gonna take them kind of easily pry it out. There's our new part. I ordered the parts from Parts Tree. What we're going to do is find a socket around that same size and we'll just tap it in. Oil gasket in. Make sure the depth of the gasket is uniform all the way around. Part number for the new one. 